Just a reminder that we're talking about housing and in particular finding an affordable place to live in this province, which has become like finding a needle in a haystack. According to Rentals.ca, the average rent for a one-bedroom apartment in Halifax is now $1,909, and I'll table that. This is an almost 10% jump from last year, similar to the leaps in rental prices in Toronto and Vancouver. And rents are high in communities right across this province. It's not just Halifax. We've been calling on the government to take action to protect tenants and to address the skyrocketing cost of housing to no avail. For every one person outside, there are 10, 20, 50, 100 more just trying to keep a roof over their head. Why does the Premier refuse to protect renters? The Honourable Premier. Thank you, thank you, um, uh, Madam Speaker, and, and uh, you know we, we share the concerns. We, 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 nobody likes to see Nova Scotians suffering. We certainly we're not in government because we like to see Nova Scotians suffering. Nobody wants to see Nova Scotians suffering. We understand that there are issues uh, facing affordability for, for for many Nova Scotians. That's why. We've invested more in rent supplements. That's why we've invested in the first affordable housing. That's why we extended the, the, uh, the, rent, the rent cap regime. That's why we are working on real solutions for Nova Scotians. Is there more work to be done? Of course there's more work to be done. There will always be more work to be done. But we are doing what we can to support Nova Scotians. Leader of the NDP on her first supplementary. Madam Speaker, the Premier, in fact, cut the rent supplement program. The Premier also announced 200 units of housing in the face of a deficit of 30,000. So I don't really think it's anything to crow about, and people can't keep up. According to a new report on rental wages, the hourly wage required to afford rent while working a standard 40-hour week, the wage to afford a two-bedroom apartment in Halifax is more than double the minimum wage. Double. The report found that none of Halifax's neighbourhoods, none, zero, have affordable rents for a full-time minimum wage worker. Does the Premier think that people should be able to afford an apartment if they work 40 hours a week? Honourable Premier. Yeah. Uh, thank, thank you, uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I thank the member for, for, for the question. This is, this is a serious issue. And it's a serious issue that requires, you know, members of this chamber to stick to the facts on things. The rent supplements were not cut, Madam Speaker. In fact, what used to be a program that benefited 5,000 Nova Scotians now benefits somewhere in the range of 8,000 uh, units, uh, Madam Speaker. <laughs> And Nova Scotians might be familiar with NDP math because we lived through their short-term in government, but I will assure Nova Scotians that going from 5,000 supports to Nova Scotians to 8,000 is not a cut. Leader of the NDP party on their final uh, question. Thank you. If we're talking about math, it's interesting to have a premier who's an accountant whose answer to every question about what does it cost is just trust me. Um, <laughs> but let's talk about rent supplements. In January, the premier slashed the program from 30% to 50% of a person's income being spent on housing before they qualify. Mm -hmm. That is punitive, it is terrible, and it has driven people onto the streets. In July, a two-month subsidy that people actually living on the street could apply to while they search for an apartment was removed with no notice to anyone. All of this despite a budget surplus, let's talk math, of $116 million and no housing strategy in sight. Can the Premier explain why his government insists on making it harder for people to afford a place to live? The Honourable Premier. Madam Speaker, the, the issue is a serious issue. It's one that we're, we're deeply concerned about in government. It's one that doesn't need to be sensationalized with misinformation. The facts themselves are, are troubling enough, uh, Madam Speaker. But what I would say to what I would say to the to, to the to the member opposite, the changes to the to the rent supplement program were not didn't put anyone out. It stayed, they changed the, the, the programs going forward so we could support more Nova Scotians. We will continue to invest in Nova Scotians as we have with almost $300 million in affordable housing just this year, Madam Speaker. We'll keep going. We know this works to be done. The Honourable